welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing a huge home decor thrifting haul. After sharing my first thrifting video here on the channel a few weeks ago, I fell in love with thrifting. If you didn't see that video, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can catch up with it later. What I'm sharing today are items I picked up throughout the month. And I've had some time to do some upcycling projects, so I'm also gonna share what I did and how I styled it. Let's get started. Since our first thrifting adventures, this has become my favorite thrift store. It was my daughter's 20th birthday and she wanted to go thrifting before having her favorite lunch. We first casually browsed the furniture section before heading over to the main area. This thrift store has three different sections and a store this size does take time and some patience. She went off to look at clothing whilst I went for what I love, home decor. And like I said, I have quite a lot to show you guys today. So let's browse for a few minutes and then get right into the haul. In that last video, I picked up this crock pot and I promised to share with you guys what I was going to do with it. It didn't come with a lid, so I couldn't use it in the kitchen, so I'm flipping it into a vase. For this project, I wanted to create a very stony, weathered look on this crock pot. I decided on using this stucco mix. My husband bought it to patch up a project he was working on on the outside. Once I saw it, I knew it would be perfect for this crock pot. I applied it all the way around, very random, no pattern to it. I just did what I felt like doing at the moment. 
I made sure to get around all those handles and around the rim at the top. Once it was all dried, I pulled out all the sample paint I had in earthy colors, then used a paper towel and dabbed it on. And here it is. I am so happy with the way this turned out. This is exactly what I envisioned. I wanted that aged, stony look. This really turned out beautifully. And I'm gonna show you guys how I style this in a bit. Okay, so it's time to show you the new stuff. I've heard several people say the thrift store is a good place to find coffee books. So I've been on the hunt for them every single time I go. Now, I personally believe coffee table books should be on topics that you're interested in. And of course, fit into the aesthetic of your home. I got this book for $1.99. Now this is on period finishes and effects. Most of you wouldn't know, but I started in design doing full painting. So this is a topic of interest to me. And I love looking back at techniques and finishes that were done in the past and what's being done now. The cover really fits nicely into my home. It is black. It does have like white or silver writing. It was in really good shape. The cover is a little bit beat up, but the hard case is in good shape. The next one I got was this book called Splendors of the Past lost cities of the ancient world so it pretty much i love history and i love architecture so this really shows um, a lot of the architecture of the past and it's really really a very interesting book to read this one was 4.99 so a little bit more expensive look at the cover of watchers it's got this little embossed detail on the front they fit into my decor and they are both topics that I am interested in. You want to have books that look nice, but you want to be able to pick them up and read them and enjoy them too. If you did see my last video, you would know how much I love brass. And it's one of the first things I do when I get into the thrift store. I head straight for the shelves with all the brass items and I start digging through. And I found this pair of vintage brass candle holders. They were $6.99 for the pair. They do have some patina on it. But this was really, really a beautiful find. It has some weight to it. I absolutely love them. This, look at this little pot or whatever it is, jug, I'm not sure. I think it's really good to have small, interesting decor pieces. They come in handy when you're styling your shelves or coffee table or anything like that. I use a lot of decor items to stage furniture that I flip, so they do come in handy, not just for using in my home, but on the furniture flips. I also got this little vintage picture frame. If you have like a vintage plate you want to display or even a book or of course a picture frame but these come in really really handy when you're styling shelves i also got this little planter i want to say it is a small bowl brass bowl it is about six or seven inches wide now i do love brass in my home but i don't like a bright brass so this is perfect it's got um little bits of that age patina look which i love now i'm not a smoker but i thought that this little ashtray was super cute i do have relatives that do smoke outside so i thought this would be nice on the patio it is a little bit heavy it was 4.99 i also got this little vintage butter dish look how cute this is this was $9.99 and 50% off, so I only paid five bucks for it. It's cute. I won't use it for butter or for anything like that, but it's a really nice decor piece. 
Now I have one more item in the brass collection to show you guys and I saved it for last because it got me so excited when I saw it. My daughter was looking at me a little bit confused but I just thought it was so cute. I'm not sure what it's going to be used for but it's definitely decorative and it's definitely very very cute. And it's this little guy here. This is also brass so it is a little plate or platter. It does have these three little legs and this bird on the top. So it looks like a bird feeder, but I'm not sure that I would be putting this outside for the birds. But this will definitely be on the inside somewhere in my home. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. Maybe put some candy in there. I don't know. You guys give me some ideas. But look at how cute this is this was 20 bucks so i did deliberate picking this up i put it in my car and while i was going around the store i kept thinking about it and thinking about it and then i decided you know what you'll like it just get it another thing i always spend time looking through are wood items trays bowls cutting boards prices of these items have been steadily going up along with the prices of raw materials I was so thrilled when I found this cutting board. This is priced at $3.99, but I was there on a day when these blue tags were 50% off, so I only paid $2. It's made of teak and had quite a bit of cut marks. This was made by a company called Danks. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. They were created in the 1950s and brought the elegant simplicity of Scandinavian design to the American market. And in true furniture flip style, I got to work sanding. I hand sanded most of it and then eventually used my sander to get to some of those deeper cuts. Also getting quite a refresh are these two bowls I picked up for $3.99. These were made of a hardwood, so the sanding was not as easy. I really liked the colors of the smaller bowls, so I decided to just clean that one up. The larger one had some red stains. I wasn't sure what those stains were, so I decided to only sand that one. Then I cleaned everything up and finished it with some Odie's oil. this is how it turned out what do you guys think now it's not perfect it does have a couple scratches left and i could have sanded a bit more and just taken all of those off but i didn't mind it i would not be using this as a cutting board so i won't be adding any more cuts to this cha cha cutery cha cutery cha cha -cutery. and would likely be using it as a cha cutery board now this is 22 inches long so this is quite a platter and I've seen a few on Etsy being sold for about $35 so purchasing this at $2 would yield quite a profit if I were to sell it but I am going to keep this and enjoy it. And here's the other bowls. Like I said I didn't do very much to this one. I just cleaned it up because it was like a, a darker color and I really like the colors in this. So as you can see, I'm using it in my entryway as a little catch-all. Um, my husband loves just throwing his keys and his wallet in there when he comes in. Although I specifically put a table there with drawers so that he can put that stuff in there, but he loves just throwing it right in here. So this is perfect. Now this is the one I sanded and refinished. This really turned out nice. It's also quite nice uh, stacked, so this is also an option just to have them on shelving, just like that, on its own. It's pretty just the way it is. The 
here's a cheese board that I picked up at the Goodwill. Look at this, guys, how beautiful it is. Now, it does have this little slot here. It's missing the knife. This is a cheese board. It is about, I would say, 10 inches wide, and it does taper down on the bottom. I got this for $5. This is from a company called Nambe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, if you guys can see that. This is on their website right now for $95. Now, this does have a couple little scratches, but it's, it's, it's really minor. And of course, I know how to fix that if I wanted to remove the scratches. And it is missing the knife, the cheese knife. I decided to use this as a riser in my kitchen for five dollars and it is so heavy the scratches are very minor and for what i'm using it for it's serving the purpose i thought this was a great deal so you see guys don't pass up on the wood items look through the wood items there are some amazing deals in there and things that you can upcycle and give it new meaning a new life a new purpose so okay this next item is a little bit off the wall because it is not home decor it is not a furniture piece and it is very strange that i bought this but i just found it was a very interesting item this is a vintage walking stick it was 2.99 and you can see that it has had some use it does have a little bit of a brass detail on the top what's also interesting is Quite a few people were asking about this when I was in the store. I had a guy come up to me and was looking in my car and he's like, where'd you get that? How much is that? So I told him $2.99. And that day there was a long line to the cashier. The girl that was behind me, she made it a point to tell me that these blue tag items are not 50% off that day. I guess she was hoping I would just put it back, but I was like, no, it's only $2.99. But isn't this cute and adorable? Speaking of vintage, I found this little item here. Now, if you know what this is by just looking at it, put it in the comments. I really want to know who can identify what this is just by looking at it, because it did take me a moment. While I was in the store, I was like playing with it, and then it occurred to me, this is for napkins. And perfect for me I was looking for something for my napkins for a while but everything I saw I didn't really like it was so ordinary and all the items I have on my dining table are a bit modern so adding in something vintage really worked well there not only is this functional cute vintage it was only $1.99 what do you guys think of this pair of candle stands these were $5.99 for the pair and I thought that they were super cute. The only thing is I am not sure I like them the way they are. I love the, the style and the design of it, but I'm not sure about the color and the finish. If you have any ideas, please put it in the comments. I am open to suggestions with this one. I thought of painting it black. I thought of taking out the mirror and putting something else on the inside. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but I wanna do something to make it, bring it a little bit up into the modern world. So put your suggestions in the comments. I absolutely love this. I saw this and I didn't take it up initially. I went around the store and around the store and around the store. I came right back and picked it up and I'm glad I did because I love the shape. I love the size of it. It's not too big. I have this in the corridor to the bedrooms and it does reflect a little light in that area. It's I also picked up these three bowls. These are wooden bowls. The sides have this engraving. They're like elephants, different animals engraved on the side. It's very rare to find like three of the same thing, like something like this. Usually you'll find one, maybe two, but to find all three together was pretty amazing. These were $2 each. This is also a very hard wood. And I think this will be great for entertaining over the holidays and the carvings make it so unique. I'm not sure where it originated from, but I do like the dark color and I just think that this was also a great find. And if you're in the market for artwork or frames, go to the thrift store. This store had literally hundreds. There were oil paintings, 
prints, antiques, you name it. Just put on your creativity cap and look at it not for what it looks like now, but for what you can do with it to give it a rebirth. And of course, I picked up this print. I love arches, so this one stood out to me. It was $24.99, less 25%, so I paid about $19. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. There was just too much white around it that didn't do justice for the black and white print. This pair of, like my daughter says, this is ink or something. She's the artist, I don't know. But she picked up this pair of artwork, Booth Bay Harbor. And I guess that's in Maine. If somebody did write on the back, August 1986, Booth Bay Harbor, I guess it's in Maine. I actually saw, saw one of them on the ground. I pointed it out to her. And then she went digging through and then she found the other one so she picked these up for her apartment are they cute i get a little picky when it comes to artwork i don't have a lot of wall space so what i put on the wall has to have meaning to me uh, either photographs of my family or artwork that i really enjoy like i mentioned before i love architecture so doors and arches that type of thing i really like i saw this original oil painting you guys would have probably have seen it in the video i'm not sure if i showed that clip but this was so gorgeous i i was looking at it for a while and then i walked away and from a distance i turned around and i looked at it again and i was like i really like it it looks so amazing from a distance the only thing though is i love the colors that are in here but i think that the frame has like too much of that brass gold color and I think it's just not letting this have its moments. I probably am gonna do something about this part. Uh, I think that that will help to make this pop a little more. If you agree that this is like too much of this color, what color do you think I should paint this in? Let me know in the comments.
Okay, I also picked up this basket. You can see how big it is. It has this lid and I did put a bag in there. I haven't started using it yet, but I put the bag because I wanted to show you guys what I was gonna use it for. I am gonna use this as a bin or trash bin or whatever in my guest bathroom. And I just haven't figured out how I'm gonna attach the bag so that it doesn't overlap like this. So I'm gonna put some, maybe some little hooks on the inside so that I can attach the bag so that it stays up and put it in my guest bathroom. I want to start using paper towels when I'm entertaining because I just think it's when I go to someone's house and their hand towel is wet, I oh, gross. don't want to use it. So for me, I want to set up my guest bathroom to have paper towels. That would mean I need a bigger way to dispose of those towels. So I thought this was perfect. It was $9.99. This was not half price. So I did pay $9.99. It does look as though it's dirty, but it's not. It's just really weathered. I really, really like this. It's a nice, strong wicker basket, and it does have the little handles. This is a good find. This is $9.99. This was not half price. I did pay the $10 for this one. It does have all this detailing around which i thought was so interesting little elephants on it when i saw it automatically i knew i was going to do something with it i was going to change the color or repaint it but the more i look at it i think i'm starting to like the green but i'm not even sure it's always nice when you find one with all this extra detailing which makes it very unique and i like the small opening because it doesn't take a lot you can put just a couple of uh, branches in there what do you call those twigs branches you can just put a couple of branches in there and it would look amazing i got these little oven to table pots with lids the pier was i think 5.99 or 6.99 5.99 and it was half price so i paid three dollars for both i also got this pair without the handles I did pick up this little stone canister. This is from Threshold, which is Target. Really cute. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for either, but I think it's cute. It was $1.99 and I think that day it was half price. So I think I paid a dollar for this, I'm not sure. I also got this travel bag. It's pretty large. This is a Vera Bradley luggage bag or travel bag. The zipper works really well. I've already washed it. This was 20 bucks. I thought that this is super cute. I love the color, I love the fabric. This brand makes great quality items. And I think this is this is good to have for, you know, little quick trips to the beach or any type of travel. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and this inspired you to go to your local thrift stores and look for things that you enjoy. I promise you there's something there just for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.